I keep getting wor- more more mad about how my kid, like, he, it'll it'll whether whether it's a nice day or not, he'll be like, oh, I, I still talk to my friends. I'm like, dude, you haven't fucking talked to them in like two weeks. First we move here, you got no friends. Now you got like twenty, and now you don't. You're like, oh, I get so sick of them. And he's like, no, I talk to them. We talk all the time on Fortnite. So it's like a virtual fucking world that's that's happening right now. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what would I think what would actually make a good ton of money because of people getting so disconnected have like a uber friend sort of like that 80s rent a friend <laughs> sure right <laughs> oh my god no you don't think no i, I think it would make money oh totally there's, well, there's plenty you of could people out there that would go for something like that i'm sure well and plus I, th- this turns real quickly into prostitution <laughs> that uh, you know that's what <laughs> kelly says she's like isn't that called abduction <laughs> like, like, if like you're meeting strangers for money <laughs> Yeah, th- there's no there's no good ending to that. Sure. Because that gets abused immediately. Well, you wouldn't be able to tell if it's prostitution unless it's like... A, I know! Really Isn't that tip. the fucking problem? <laughs> Is that you wouldn't be able to tell if it's prostitution? <laughs> I'm dedicated in my hourly union wages. <laughs> no tips. <laughs> Fuck me in the ass now. <laughs> I don't know. How many times, at least for me, it's like, oh, I want to go, but I don't want to go alone. So it's like, uh, maybe I won't yeah. go to that show. I no, hear I, that. I was Get more friends. That. Yeah. I don't know. Nowadays, oh. <laughs> I usually prefer well, I, to go alone. <laughs> no, that, that uh, shit happens to me all the time yeah, because see, no one ever wants to do shit with, that I want to do. Uber friend. You've always got someone to go with you, and they can be really peppy, or you could get like a sad one. I feel like there is... Can you today. suggest <laughs> that? Like different <laughs> classes of friends? I don't know. Sometimes you're not always upbeat, and sometimes like super bubbly people. Like you I, know. Need That's vir- why I, was, <laughs> I need a Virgo. I need a Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was thinking about how like, you know when you get drivers, they have like an entire description, what kind of car they drive, what stars, the reviews. So <laughs> I've have, never like, once I, I know read how to that description. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you could. I be just get into people's cars, which in retrospect is probably gonna bite me <laughs> in the ass at some point. But I mean, what are you gonna do? Cancel the ride? Like, that could oh, also I don't turn like them. Prostitution, pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. More than one road. But apparently, I'm going about this all wrong. Well, no, well, no. I'm saying, like, with Uber friend, you could have like a descri- Like, this will be the guy who makes the most money. I am very good at acting really dumb. You can put me down the whole time. You know. All right. I'm very ugly. <laughs> you will look much better by comparison. <laughs> It'll turn into something like fucking. The beginning of Hannibal, when he makes him cut his face off and feeds him to the pigs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, put right? that in the business plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be just like Hannibal. <laughs> Looking for new investors, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the best way I can explain this idea is, you remember it's, Hannibal? It's Uber for serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but if it makes money, man, we need, some people want that shit. Uber for serial killers? Yes, yeah. I'm sure serial killers would love that. I'm all for it. Victims on demand. <laughs> Victims on demand, yeah. VOD. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> that sounds like a new Netflix show. V- get Victims on Demand. <laughs> Brought to you by whatever, hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a special shout out to our corporate sponsors, whatever, hot chocolate. They make a quality product. <laughs> <laughs> you know... So I, I got to mention this before I forget. So y- you know it's a really crazy story I heard recently that I, I thought was pretty funny. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention his name anymore because of certain complaints. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but somebody I know that's really close to me is a teacher. And they teach at, well, well, I don't know, we'll, we'll call him Glue Stick, okay? My my friend Glue Stick is a teacher at this place called Espira. Do I know this friend? You you, you know this friend. He's a, he's a multitasker. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we, 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 I get it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway, uh, I, I'll, I'll see it later because I don't. Oh, you're. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> right, exactly. Don't <laughs> make me edit more. I'm <laughs> sorry. Glad you didn't say sorry. That. <laughs> no, but okay. any, anyways, this person, <laughs> they're a teacher, and they're uh, they're part of this um, program. Like when you start, just like every job, when you start out anywhere, you got to start off at the fucking bottom. So they work for this company called Aspira, which is I don't know why I mentioned before. They're strictly. Like, uh, like not cared for Latino youth. So it's all fucking gangbangers, and it's all strictly Latino. I don't know why. He doesn't even speak Spanish. So, but anyways, he works at this uh school, and it reminded me of you. Remember when you were talking about like your weird science teacher, uh, Bill, when they uh put a bunch of bees on pins to yeah. pollinate? Yeah, yeah. Well, there was this teacher at the school. Wait, hang on. Before you continue, is this going to be like one of those stories where uh, Glustick goes in to the school of like ne'er do well? 
like unmotivated kids and he gives them the courage and the strength to like aspire for more i don't know what to do about these kids yeah exactly is this <laughs> is this a feel good story i think i guess it depends on who you are if you're a weirdo like me it's pretty feel good no, <laughs> all right all right continue good no, that's no 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 he uh, so one of the teachers there um he brought in a they were they were about to do, do, like learn about anatomy of animals or something so like on the way to school like last like it was just like on the fucking way he finds a dead bird he's like yeah you know what we should rip the part out of this bird in class today so he brought a dead bird to class <laughs> to dissect what and, and don't then, you have to get that stuff like cleared by an administrator <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know it's good teachers getting involved exactly yeah, right, right. He cares cleanup. about yeah. So he cares about his job. Yeah. So so he brings it in, and I guess one of the, the I guess one of the gangbangers. It was too much from yeah, man. That was fucked up. <laughs> Damn burn, you know. But yeah, because that's <laughs> fucked up. <Yeah. laughs> but but to somebody who was like it, after a drive by, yeah, man, I fucking kill that motherfucker. Then I just see some fucked up shit, a dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the middle of a drive. I, I was having a good day. Drove by some motherfuckers, and then I see this dead bird. In class, you know, but <laughs> you shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, so, <laughs> so, so this, so, this, so one of the people, one of the students complained, and the teacher got fired, and it was so fucking weird. Because, okay, I don't know if this <laughs> is has that fire. That's a that's a really weird. Wait, hang on. What, so what is uh, weird about any of this? What do you guys think is so weird about a teacher I, bringing a dead bird into class? I, 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 no, no. The weird part is, is <laughs> that to get okay. So in the school, because all all the schools. How now, does he fill out applications for like why did you leave your prior place? Yeah, right? where I brought in a dead I've bird. A, <laughs> I have experience in you know. On the spot anatomy. I just find <laughs> on it. On the spot anatomy. <laughs> Better not find an old lady changing a tire. <laughs> but <laughs> careful with that one. <laughs> on the no, spot but anatomy. So, so no, the, the Brought part you that by got weird. The part that got weirder is like it's not like the old days with chalk and actual fucking books and you know lead in the walls. They everybody has tablets now, so you can contact students like, hey, are you having you know problem with math? Just chat with me uh, whenever the fuck you want this teacher kept his tablet and right after he got fired he sent everyone in the school a video it's just him and a student like with their shirts off smoking weed <laughs> what yeah <laughs> You can go to jail for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, yeah, I didn't give a fuck about this school. Here's what we're learning now, right? <laughs> so, where did their shirts go? I don't, well, this is they, painting. I didn't, I didn't a want to mention it, but the, very but the, interesting person. I, I didn't want to mention it, but the students were real thug, and the teacher was real gay, and now weed was involved. So, uh, yeah. So, but man. love. So, is he fucking it, the student, or dude? You're weird. You're messed up. I was thinking. It, I was going to call it extra credit, man. <laughs> Sextra credit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Sextra credit. Is that how it works after you get fired, though? I yeah. I get. Well, he just kept the tablet, and then, and then, like <laughs> fuck you guys, like. I kind of did a, my little fuck you. I kept all the staplers I, I fucking took from my job. No, no like I, I, this this is how desperate I was because I was shitty. I, he I took a kid when he left. Yeah. <laughs> You're mine now. <laughs> 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 all right, I'm not telling my story. Yeah, but we need the tablet back. <laughs> you can keep the kid. Yeah. But I'm I wasn't going to mention the school the kid. supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Those, that stuff's expensive. <laughs> No, I'm not kidding, dude. I was so desperate at that. I, I, I think I mentioned the office job where I got a panic attack. They didn't pay shit, so I fucking. They had like one cabinet where they have a whole two years of all supplies: permanent markers, notepads, staplers, fucking staple removers. And I was just gonna pack like a suitcase full of them and sell them in the parking lot because school year was starting. Oh, my God. No one's buying blacklisted, <laughs> like, black market school Anybody supplies. Need you, no are the weirdest, <laughs> you are the weirdest door-to-door salesman. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I'd have to spice it up, you know, kind of like the kids with the candy so bars. a little, like, carnival tent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Inglewood. I wasn't brought up right. You want a notebook, you know. Yeah, I don't know if that's your good pitch. I can juggle these, good too, pitch. in my carnival <laughs> <laughs> I had a bad upbringing. Please Watch buy me juggle these please. staplers. Yeah, staplers right. are on sale. Pay please extra, support my baseball team. To me. Yeah, <laughs> there what you was, go. Was that was that jackass where they stapled stuff to my? Uh, I, I used to do that stuff. I know, that but that stuff's I, not very hard. I forgot what. I don't know what I'm thinking of. 
somebody stapled like a note to themselves to to not forget. I don't I don't know what I'm thinking of. Whatever. Well, there's like I mean, you ever staple your nutsack to each part of your legs so you got like just like a big you know. What? So it whistles when the breeze comes by. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People pay a lot to do that to somebody, you know. What? That, that yeah, might have been like jackass. A, that's a big S&M thing. When I'm saying st- I've huh. done that. Yeah. Oh, you did yeah. that. Did it, did it whistle? No, it didn't whistle, but I made a lot of money. Oh. How much How much did they pay to staple I nuts? got 100 bucks altogether for that. Oh. I don't know if I could do 100 bucks. I don't know about you guys. I mean, we I'm could not. split it. Like, I throw in 50, <laughs> you throw in 50. Yeah. You know, 50 each side. Yeah. No, I'm saying to staple your nutsack for a hundred bucks, not pay the money. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I'm we're confused. confused. Yeah. yeah, are we paying someone to staple us or not? Uh, Fuck Although getting, that that happens paid too by somebody so that they can staple you. Really? Yeah. There's a weird gray area too where it's sort of legal, like dominatrix, like that sort of stuff without full penetration is like legal, sort of. There are dungeons like uh, there are dungeons in Chicago. Yeah. I only know about this because one of my I, friends I, is into that, yeah, so like I, really I into that community. I got a lot of friends that do that stuff. Yeah, Uber friend, <laughs> <laughs> victim, uh, victims on demand. We got it. Right. I like how torture has become the theme for this episode. Right. It's appropriate for a Halloween special, episode thirteen. <laughs> even though, even in though September. it's September, <laughs> September first. <laughs>